Hello Engineering Students, Class uh, 2021. Uh, today I will be presenting you uh, a very short introduction about the Design and Production Engineering Department, which is one of the uh, specializations in the faculty of uh, EMS. Okay, before starting the technical introduction, um, let me first uh, answer some questions that you might be thinking uh, of. The first question is about um, what is the, why is this faculty important and what will I study? Uh, the second question is, uh, uh, will I be capable to uh, uh, undergo the uh, requirements of this study program and what are the different career opportunities uh, that are provided to me as a design and production engineer uh, in the future. First of all, uh, since you all uh, uh, are already in your second semester in uh, the engineering program or in the school of uh, engineering, then uh, every one of you will graduate as an engineer. So uh, now it's time for you to select the discipline that uh, you will love and uh, be interested in uh, for the next four years of your life. And this is actually a huge uh, duration. So it's very important for you to select the, the, the discipline or the specialization or the program uh, in which you will feel happy in which you will understand what you are doing and uh, in understand uh, uh, that it will uh, suit your capabilities and your passion. The design and production engineering department is a broad-based uh, department. It's a broad-based uh, program uh, and uh, actually it provides you uh, with a great choice when it comes to the uh, diverse type of courses that you are going to study throughout the next four years and especially when it comes to the electives in the um, last year in the ninth and tenth semester uh, and these uh, or uh, this uh, uh, diverse uh, in the nature uh, of uh, the um, uh, program or in the nature of the courses uh, of course will uh, broaden or widen the choice of your career opportunities. Here uh, we, uh, uh, we will uh, present uh, some uh, slides that will uh, tell you how the uh, part uh, or how the, uh, the teaching of the design part is conducted. You will no more be using pencil and, uh, and uh, rulers except only in limited uh, conditions. We are always using uh, the uh, most updated uh, software packages that uh, you can use or will facilitate the process for uh, designing, uh, for drawing first and for designing. As you can see here, this is an output of uh, a computer-aided design. In this uh, uh, slide you can find or you can see uh, how the regular uh, uh, drawings that you used to uh, apply in your uh, engineering drawing course now you will be able to uh, conduct uh, this uh, process using uh, different software packages uh, this is a very interesting video on how you are drawing uh, very simple uh, parts. Uh, if you are going to draw uh, a screw or you are going to draw uh, any product, it, it's very simple now. And all of these uh, software packages are used uh, when we are speaking about uh, designing um, uh, products. As for the production part, you will learn how to uh, transfer all the, all the available resources, whether these resources are materials, uh, manpower, uh, um, uh, raw data, whatever uh, is the system that you are going to produce. You will learn how to um, transfer uh, the available resources uh, from only an idea 
to a useful resource and this of course is based on uh, uh, customer uh, requirements um, as a production engineer or a design and production engineer uh, you will deal with all types of products uh, you will deal with very simple products uh, such as uh, uh, fast moving consumer goods or uh, which are the uh, goods that are used in your everyday life like uh, uh, soap uh, 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 fast food like uh, canned food and and what and uh, any other uh, type of uh, fast moving consumer goods and uh, till you reach some complicated uh, products such as uh, robots uh, um, uh, aeroplanes, uh, uh, PV panels or uh, solar panels uh, and so on. So you are responsible or you will be responsible uh, uh, of producing uh, all of these products for you all are similar and they only differ in the uh, in their complexity but the uh, you will learn how to transfer the uh, raw material and the available resources into either simple or complex final products as per uh, the customer requirements. As a production uh, engineering student, you will learn how to generate ideas uh, for product design and even for uh, uh, product development. You will learn what are the different manufacturing processes that you are going to conduct to reach the final product. And of course, when we are speaking about manufacturing processes, we are not speaking only about the basic processes that you have learned in the production technology course. No, we are speaking about uh, uh, very advanced uh, manufacturing uh, processes and um, uh, we will learn uh, how to uh, uh, cut using laser, how to cut using water. You will learn some uh, non-conventional uh, manufacturing processes. You will learn even some of the manufacturing processes that are used in the uh, current era of Industry 4.0 or uh, smart manufacturing as we call it. As a production, uh, a design and production uh, engineer, uh, you will uh, be capable to work in any part of the parts of the supply chain of any type of business. Uh, as you will learn how to uh, deal with uh, planning for the uh, manufacturing uh, process, how you will uh, plan for the uh, development of the uh, product and the manufacturing process itself, you will learn how to uh, manage the uh, production process, how to plan it, how to schedule for products, you will learn how to conduct quality control issues on your products and also you will learn how to manage a factory, how to design a factory and how to um, extract the optimum output of uh, uh, any type of uh, organization. Um, in the beginning of your uh, engineering study, uh, you were exposed to some of the basic and conventional um, uh, machining uh, processes uh, which were not very much into technology but now you will pass through or you will learn how the development of uh, the um, industrial uh, processes uh, took place starting from the first industrial revolution till the fourth industrial uh, revolution you will learn how to be able to uh, transform uh, every conventional uh, uh, production process into a more advanced uh, process. Uh, you will have the opportunity to have hands-on experience with the equipment, software, and processes uh, when you are, that you are likely to see in the uh, current market, not only inside Egypt, but also uh, abroad. Uh, design uh, and production uh, engineers are responsible for all aspects of the design, development, implementation, operation, and management uh, of uh, manufacturing and non-manufacturing systems. Uh, manufacturing uh, is one of the main contributors of uh, our core study. It is the most important element in any engineering process, and uh, design and production engineers are key personnel in um, uh, different organizations. 
the uh, when we speak about products we speak about products that range from uh, airplanes turbines engines pumps computers uh, moving to integrated circuits and robotic equipments as a uh, professional uh, production engineer uh, you will work to work towards uh, choosing the machinery, the processes, the equipments for particular uh, manufacturing processes. You will be able to plan and schedule the production in any manufacturing uh, industry. You will be programming CNC machines to produce engineering components such as um, uh, gears, uh, printed circuit boards, uh, screws, bolts, uh, and as I mentioned, some uh, uh, fast-moving consumer goods even. And uh, again, you will be responsible for quality control, distribution, and inventory control. And of course, the job opportunities of design and production uh, engineers um, for these reasons and for the diversity of uh, the capabilities and the talents that you will gain uh, will range uh, in different industries. As you can see here, these are examples of uh, our graduates we have graduates working in general electric we have graduates working in communication um, uh, um, companies such as, as orange uh, we have uh, researchers in in uh, uh, very highly esteemed uh, universities such as uh, university in germany university of hamburg we have uh, uh, several of our graduates are working in uh, multinational companies such as uh, Unilever, uh, PNG, Mars, uh, Henkel, uh, and many others. Even we have graduates who are working in uh, uh, the oil and gas uh, sector. We have uh, also uh, a considerable number of uh, uh, graduates working in um, ABB and uh, Dell, which is uh, one of the uh, uh, communication uh, uh, companies. And of course, since you will learn how to design a product as per, as per customer requirements, how uh, to uh, be able to uh, plan to the production of the process, how you uh, the product, how to manufacture this product. So you are uh, likely one of the uh, uh, main uh, uh, persons who is capable of uh, starting up a business and actually uh, these are uh, a very simple example of two startups uh, uh, which uh, were owned by found and founded by design and production engineering uh, students uh, here are the different uh, uh, companies that the department is uh, collaborating with in either uh, bachelor projects or in conducting uh, uh, some of the course projects. These uh, uh, industries sometimes uh, contact us for uh, some um, actual problems and in uh, throughout the courses we uh, collaborate uh, with them to solve uh, some of uh, uh, their problems uh, in a technical uh, way uh, actually uh, nowadays we have uh, several uh, projects with png we have uh, projects with henkel uh, we have projects with mars and uh, many other industries uh, very interesting information popped in front of me while preparing this uh, uh, presentation for you. Uh, I discovered that uh, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, is an industrial engineer, and industrial engineering is one of the uh, 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 majors of uh, production engineering. Uh, Larry Page, uh, who is uh, Google's CEO, is a production engineer. Uh, uh, I don't know how uh, to pronounce uh, his name, but it's most probably Jidian Yu. Uh, he's a Korean-American sports executive, and he owns the San Francisco football team. He is also a production engineer. And uh, uh, finally, uh, uh, Chad uh, uh, Holiday Jr. Uh, he's uh, a very famous uh, uh, businessman, uh, uh, and uh, he was strangely the former chairman chairman of the bank of america and also he was an industrial engineer so can you imagine uh, where you can be uh, in the coming years of your life you have uh, countless uh, opportunities for different businesses 
and I hope that you will excel in any uh, specialization that you choose. Okay, this was a very, very short presentation, but you can find a detailed presentation on the provided YouTube link here. Uh, even uh, you will find uh, uh, other uh, presentations concerning other faculties of EMS. And of course, you are, all, you are always welcome to visit me in my office for any further explanation about the specialization um, and uh, uh, to gain more information about the courses and the flow of courses throughout the year. Wish you best of luck.